Hello Vector Ink World. In this video, I'm going to show you something that I've learned messing around with the Distribute tool along with the Shape Builder tool. So check it out. We're going to activate the Rectangle tool, press it again to get the shapes, and let's activate the Circle tool. Let's turn on Constraints, and let's put a circle on the canvas. Alright, now let's press it again and select a line and put a straight horizontal line on the canvas and then activate the transform tool. And then we're going to open up the alignment panel and center the line vertically and horizontally onto the canvas. And we're going to do the same for the circle. Now select the line and duplicate and rotate the line 90 degrees. So we have something like this. Then let's select the vertical line, duplicate that, and bring it about right here on the circle. Now with the circle selected, activate the distribute tool. We're going to drag the point of reference over to this line over here to the right. So you should have something like this. Now select the transform tool. Okay, so from here, I'm going to come back over to the shape tools and select circle, select constrain just lay one on the canvas. What we're going to want to do is align this circle with to the top of this one here that I'm pointing at and try to get it to touch this one here. So like so. You want it to touch best you can. And I think right there is good. Shape Builder should pick that up. So let's select that circle and select the Distribute tool. And let's drag the point to the center. That's that center cross we added. And now you should get duplicates all touching both circles that it should be touching. Now let's activate the transform tool. At this point we can delete these lines. We're going to highlight everything and select the shape builder tool. Then let's select these little cones up here. They're like little like teardrops. All right? And then we're going to select the rest of this sort of I guess croissant looking shape. And the thing about the Shape Builder tool is when it turns blue, it'll be orange as long as the shape, as long as it doesn't close the shape that it's trying to build. But as soon as it closes, or the shape is able to close, it'll turn blue. And that's how you know you have a shape. And that's generally what you're shooting for. Sometimes you want to keep it orange and that's fine it'll just cut out what it can okay so you should have something like this if you highlight the rest of the this croissant shape you should get something like this and then select transform and we 
have this odd shape here. Let's highlight everything again. Let's go to the color palette. I'm going to just pick something. Uh, this one. Like that. Let's highlight everything and just give them all one color. Boom. Sometimes you have to hit this twice. I'll fix that. No worries. 